Now, forewarn weather with cutting edge technology for the most up to the minute forecast in Southeast Michigan. You know, and talk about wrapping up those summer activities and vacations. Folks might want to pivot some of those plans this weekend, huh? Yeah, um, you know, it's just, it's so hot and humid outside. But yeah. the, the showers that we're getting tonight, those are going to be done for the weekend. Okay. Good. So we do get a break from that, which will be great for folks that are dealing with the flooding. You know, now they get to work in a basement all weekend cleaning things <laughs> yeah, out. Right? But, you know, it just goes to show you the power of some of these thunderstorms that, oh, they weren't even really thunderstorms. I mean, it's just pockets of very, very heavy rainfall. In fact, we do have a lightning detector on. We're not even picking up any lightning. And overnight last night, you probably heard more of a heavy downpour than you did uh, thunder and lightning. And certainly we didn't have the wind criteria for severe weather, but we do still have that flood warning in effect for parts of Macomb County. You know what happened in Macomb County is that the last few days they had a lake breeze set up. So this one little swath here got more rain than most areas got over the last couple of days. So the ground was already saturated and then add to it the rain that we had last night. And that is kind of a recipe for some pretty severe flooding right now. Pocket of really heavy rain just outside the airport that's moving off to the east. Again, it's not a severe thunderstorm, although let's put a tracker on it here and we'll see uh, exactly where it's headed. Not really moving very quickly at all, about 14 miles per hour. So uh, it'll be at the airport here in the next three minutes and then Woodhaven at 6.06. So you just get that quick downpour. But the rest of Metro Detroit uh, just kind of starting to dry out in most areas, especially in this quadrant here, this northeast quadrant. Uh, that's just clutter there. That light rain uh, looks like light rain, but it's not. And then back out to the west a few more. But everything is kind of moving down to the south rather than moving from uh, exactly west to east. So we'll continue to kind of keep an eye on things. I'm going to take a check really quickly here if we can on um, you know, some of the accumulation that we've had as far as rainfall totals over the last, we'll do 24 hours of rain and see exactly what we have across much of Metro Detroit. And you can see, you know, this swath right here, uh, just to the south of Mount Clemens, 2.7 inches. Uh, and that's pretty conservative, two and a half inches there. But you go down to Grosseal and they haven't had any. Romulus will add to that total now, but you go back out to places like Howell and it's about a half inch. So there's just been some pockets of some pretty heavy rainfall here and there. And that swath that I showed you where there was at least two and a half, some places as much as four. That's where we have that flood warning in effect until nine o'clock tonight. But area of low pressure is centered over Lake Erie now, so showers down to our south and that counterclockwise flow pulling that rain to our south here over the next several hours, south and west. And then we'll dry out by at least nine or 10 o'clock. We should be pretty dry. And then skies will clear overnight tonight, setting us up for a very nice start to the weekend with some sunshine tomorrow. Just we're still stuck in that hot, humid pattern until at least the beginning of next week. Temps right now in the upper 70s, but you factor in the humidity. Feels like it's 82 at Metro 81 City Airport. I do want to let you know for you folks that have uh, relatives, people in Florida, Still a tropical wave about to become a tropical depression, but they do have uh, hurricane uh, watches up for uh, actually tropical storm watches up for parts of Florida. Now it looks like it's going to go into the Gulf as a depression, possibly become a tropical storm, maybe, you know, stronger than that because the water is very, very warm there. That would be the second half of the weekend and then eventually tracking up through the Carolinas. So there's those tropical storm watches and warnings. Naples seems to be right now the place that would get the strongest of that tropical storm. It will be Debbie, by the way. 69 overnight tonight for the day tomorrow. We make it up to 88 degrees warm and sticky on Sunday uh, 88 once again. So very hot and humid is going to feel more like the 90s. Finally, we get some relief though. In fact, look at next week. I even dropped us back from 81 today. I went with 79 mm. for Wednesday and Thursday and you clear out that humidity. That's going to feel pretty good. We're going to yeah. need that. We break need that. Yeah. and appreciate it. All right, Kim.